Soldiers who were shot down in their helicopter in Afghanistan will come home. Four of the 30 soldiers killed come from the Kansas City area. Lindsay Chively is live at the VFW Centennial Plaza in Midtown with more on their memory. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Curtis and Jaja. You know, this statue is usually used to honor veterans that come home from war, a soldier transitioning into a civilian, but we thought it was just such a poignant symbol of the sacrifice of the soldiers killed in this helicopter because this is something that they will not be the chance to do, come home from war and get back into civilian life. Now, one of the lives lost was Alexander Bennett, known by his family and friends as Alex. His mom, Kim, told us he was a mechanic and he loved to make engines. Another of the soldiers killed, Matt Mason from Clay County, was one of the Navy SEALs in the attack. He became a Navy SEAL just a few years out of college at Kearney High School and around town. People remember Mason's success for football and baseball, and he graduated from there in 1992. Eric Marshall, who is now the school's vice principal, was a year older than Matt in school, and they were in the same prom group. Marshall says people are remembering Mason with pride, respect, and sympathy for his family. Said for the family, uh, for for his wife and his children, and mm -hmm. um, you know, I, I don't know. You know, it, it's it's uh, makes you want to makes you feel sick. A Mason is survived by his two children and his wife, who friends say is expecting their third child as well. We're live in Midtown, Lindsay Shively, NBC Action News Today. Lindsay, thank you for that. And around the country, lawmakers are expressing their condolences to the families who lost a loved one in the attack last weekend. Missouri Senator Roy Blunt says, My heartfelt prayers go out to the families and friends who lost their loved ones this weekend. These men bravely served our country and they gave their lives to protect our freedoms and their selfless sacrifices will never be forgotten. Kansas Congressman Kevin Yoder says, in these moments, we are reminded of the unparalleled sacrifices of our nation's military. We owe our brave servicemen and women an unmeasurable debt of gratitude for fighting for our freedom and safety. With the emotion of what happened still fresh, family and friends of the local soldiers killed got together and shared memories of the men lost. They met at the hangar where the members of the Chinook Helicopter Company would practice flying in Gardner, Kansas. It was not an official military memorial service, but a private candlelight vigil. For Lieutenant Richard Sherman, last night was important. His friends were among the 30 Americans who died Saturday morning when their Chinook helicopter was shot down. These guys were just normal, everyday citizens that volunteer. They, I mean, every day, every weekend, there's some of them in here flying. I mean, they come in Thursday nights and fly or come in to work on the aircraft. These are just extraordinary people that do what the country asked. And the families of the soldiers wanted their privacy, but they did ask that this community pray for the rest of our local troops still overseas.